the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Hi guys, welcome to Sunday School. So, um, let's first stand up to pray. Our feet are very still. I bow my head this way. I fold my hands and close my eyes. I pray. Now the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you for protecting us. Please be with us. Please open our hearts and our minds so that we may understand the story and always praise you with our songs. And hear us when we say thankfully, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Okay, so we are now in the Lent, as you know. The Lent, uh, as you may remember, is the fast before Easter. So every Sunday has a special story, okay? So first let's uh, listen and sing the song about the Lent, and then we'll, we'll say our story. Time is what we spend with our Savior during Lent And the Gospel in the Mass has a message that He sent When we fast and pray we learn to live by every word He said The first thing we learn to keep, spiritual work secret and deep When we offer alms we say, to you only Lord I pay no one sees me except my Lord, who grants the heavenly reward. Happy time is what we spend with our Savior during Lent. And the Gospel in the Mass has a message that He sent. When we fast and pray, we learn to live by every word He said. The first week we learn to seek the kingdom of and to keep our eyes focused on the Lord Who clothes the grass of the fields He feeds the birds of the air Who can neither sow nor reap Happy time is what we spend With our Savior during Lent And the Gospel in the Mass Has a message that He sent When we fast and pray we learn To live by every word He said Second week is the temptation by the devil on the mount Third week is the prodigal son Can you tell me how he won? And who is the real father Waiting there for you to come? Happy time is what we spend With our Savior during Lent And the Gospel in the Mass Has a message that he sent When we fast and pray we learn To live by every word he said Fourth week is the Samaritan woman with a repeated sin she dwelt And six hours Jesus walked Just to meet her at the well He saved her from all her sins To everyone she ran to tell Happy time is what we spend With our Savior during Lent And the Gospel in the Mass Has a message that He sent When we fast and pray we learn To live by every word He said the fifth is the crippled man who was lying sick in bed. Thirty-eight years he cannot move, no one helps him as he said. Till the Lord met him and spoke, rise, take up your bed and walk. Happy time is what we spend with our Savior during Lent. And the gospel in the Mass has a message that he sent. When we fast and pray, we learn to live by every word he said. Six week is the man born blind. 
he can't see nor can he find how to go and where to be for he has no eyes to see but the lord opened his eyes now he is able to see happy time is what we spend with our savior during Lent, and the gospel in the mass as a message that he sent when we fast and pray we learn to live by every word he said seventh week is palm sunday when we receive you in our hearts clothes and garments we're spreading and the court treads on to pass son of david save us all hosanna we won't cease to call happy time is what we spend with our savior during lent and the gospel in the mass as a message that he sent when we fast and pray we learn to live by every word he said okay so this our story today is about the third sunday of the lent and it's about the prodigal son or the lost son right so let's look here so this is the son so there was this son and he lived with his father and his older brother and his father was so good to him he loved him so much and he loved his brother too but one day this son uh, didn't like staying with his father anymore he felt bored and he just wanted to go on his own and to live on his own, do whatever he wanted. So he came to his father and said to him, Dad, I don't like living here anymore. I want to go away. Give me my money and I just want to go away and do whatever I wanted. How do you think his dad felt? Pretty sad, right? Because his own son didn't want to be with him anymore. But he didn't want to force his son to, to uh, stay or anything. So he gave him the money and his son took it and he went to a far away country, far, far from his house. And he found some friends, see? But they were not really good. They, all they cared about was his money. So at first he was happy and he started spending his money, giving it away and partying and everything but then after a while all the money was gone right he spent it all see so when all the money was gone his friends didn't want to be with him anymore so they all left him see they all left so now he felt so lonely and he was very poor and he was hungry so uh, so now he started to look for a job so he can have some money to to eat so he started to look for a job see and then he found someone who hired him to look after some pigs and to feed the pigs so imagine that it's not a nice job it was very stinky very disgusting. So well, how do you think he felt? Pretty bad, right? Because this is how we feel when we're away from God, right? We can't do anything. We're all by ourselves. So this is how he felt. And he was so hungry that he even wanted to, to eat some of the food of the pigs. Can you imagine? So then, but he was also, uh, now he felt how much he, he missed his father and he said what am I doing here I even the servants in my father's house they have very good food to eat I am going to go back to my dad I'm going to tell him I'm sorry and I don't deserve to be your son anymore make me as one of your servants so he got up and he went back he went back to his dad's house and then his dad you know, he wasn't mad at him or anything, even though he had la left him like that. He was waiting for him to come back every day. 
So he was there waiting, and he saw his son coming from far away. So he hurried, he ran to his son, and he hugged him. And then uh, the, the, the son started to say, I don't deserve to be your son anymore. But his dad didn't even let him finish. He, to he told his servants, come, come, bring the ro nice robe and sandals and a ring and put it on my son because my son was lost, but now he is found. See, and this is how God is with us. Even if we make him sad, he still loves us and he's ready to accept us anytime. Okay, so let's watch the movie. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you called The Naughty Son. Today's memory verse is from Psalms 86, verse 5. It says, you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive. The message for today's story is God is always ready to forgive us. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? How did you feel about what you had done? Did you wonder if they would still love you? Jesus told a story about a son who didn't like his father's rules, so he decided to leave home. He went to his father and asked for his money. The father didn't want him to go away, but the son was determined to go. So the father gave him his money, and the son left home to live the way he wanted to live. At first, the boy had lots of money, and he soon made a lot of friends. He paid for parties for all of his friends, and when he had spent all his money, his friends left him. But without money or friends, the boy had no place to stay and no food to eat. Soon the boy was very hungry, and he began to look for a job. But the only job he could find was on a pig farm. It was a horrible job. Pee-you! The pigs were filthy and smelly, and their food was even worse. The boy was so hungry, he even thought about eating the pig's food. Yuck! Then he started to think about his father and his home. No one at his father's house lived like this. Even the servants who were paid to work for his father had plenty to eat. The son thought to himself, I haven't been a very good son, so I don't deserve to have my father take me back. But maybe he'll give me a job working for him. I'll go back and ask my father to let me be one of his servants. So the boy left the filthy pigs and their smelly food and he began the long walk back to his father's house. But while he was still a long way from the house, his father saw him and ran out to meet him. He was so happy to see his son. The son tried to tell his father that he hadn't been a very good son. Dad, I don't deserve to be your son anymore. My son, I won't hear of it. The father hugged and kissed his son. Servant, bring the best clothes and shoes for my son and then fix the best food and prepare a party to welcome my son home. Does that sound like a father who was angry at his son for the bad things he had done? Does that sound like a father who didn't love his son anymore? Just as that father loved his son and forgave him, Jesus loves you. Just as the father loved his son and forgave him, God loves you and will always forgive you when you are truly sorry for doing wrong. Just ask God to forgive you. He loves you so much. He wants to keep you close to Him. He will always be your friend. And someday, He will welcome you to His home in heaven. Okay, so let's say the verse and then we also have a little song about the prodigal son. And then we're going to pray. Okay, so the verse today is, He was lost and is found. Luke 15, 24. He was lost and is found. Luke 15, 24. Okay, let's listen to the song. Oh, that's good, bro. 
Okay. Okay, now let's stand up to pray. Our feet are very still. I bow my head this way. I fold my hands and close my eyes. I pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Thank you, God, for this story. Thank you for all your blessings. Please, God, teach us to always love you and to never go away from you. And if we ever do something bad, please remind us that how much you love us and bring us back to you. Just like the prodigal son came back to his father. Thank you, God, for all your love. Please teach us to love you and to love one another like you love us. Please bless us and protect us. And hear us when we say thankfully, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Bye guys. See you next time.